The St. Fieter Bagel Bakery on Monkland is closing on Monday. The owners say it's not because of the slow sales, but because of the high rent. And it's not the only business on Monkland with that problem. Here's Denise Roberts. There's plenty of dough to be made in the bagel business. All right. There you go, sir. And with a steady stream of customers and a full dining room, you'd think St. Vieter would be in good shape. Instead, it's getting ready to close due to a rent hike. It is bittersweet, but I'd like to focus on the, on the sweet. We've accomplished uh, quite a bit in the last 18 years. You know, we've, uh, this neighborhood was nice to us. The community was nice to us, and we were nice to them in, in return. Customers say it's a sad end to what's become a neighborhood fixture. Very sad. It's a great place. Where are we going to get our bagels? We have to go all the way downtown. Once we found out they're closing our breakfast joint, we was like, who's the landlord? What is their mission statement? And uh, we went online, we found out the different communities they're involved in. And uh, it's kind of like they're running a little bit of a monopoly around Montreal with the businesses. The landlord, Development Metro Montréal, didn't respond to our request for an interview. But it isn't the only landlord in the village raising the rent. Running a small vegan cafe costs Esther Kim over $3,000 a month in rent, plus business taxes. Before I used to have um, many employees, then I cut, cut, cut. Now I work myself to pay the rent and to pay my salary. She says she can't survive another rent increase and is putting her business up for sale. Monkland, uh, uh, it's very tough because uh, all the rents are very high here in this area. but. Customers' clientele, the population is not too much. This toy store owner says high rent on top of online competition has put a dent in his business too. They go for everybody, but only if you see restaurants can survive here, like stores closing one after another one. Stores like Saint Viateur aren't a dime a dozen. But as closing time approaches, Moreno says the plan is to keep giving customers what they want. I'd like to think I'm ending on a high. You know, like we, we we're, we're ending it, you know, kind of our way on a high. So far, there are no plans to relocate. So as of Monday, NDG residents will have one less place to get fresh bagels. Denise Roberts, CTV News.